On the 29th day of the month of July 2017, Equifax, a major credit reporting agency, suffered a massive data breach, exposing the personal information of over 140 million customers. The breach resulted in a $700 million settlement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission, making it one of the largest data breach settlements in history. This is just one in several data breaches that have been experienced over the years by organizations of different sizes. With all of this information flying about, you'll be surprised that a lot of organizations all over the world still do not see the importance of being cybersecurity compliant. This is particularly true with organizations that exist in countries that don't have bodies that strongly enforce their cybersecurity regulations. Organizations that are not cybersecurity compliant are most at risk of data breaches that lead to huge financial losses and reputational damage. This is why all organizations need to take proactive measures to protect their sensitive data from cyber threats. In this video, we'll be discussing the steps organizations can take to achieve cybersecurity compliance and how compliance can benefit their operations and reputation. So let's get started. First, what is cybersecurity compliance? Cybersecurity compliance refers to the practice of following guidelines and regulations to ensure the protection of sensitive data from cyber threats. Now that we know what cybersecurity compliance is, what are those steps organizations can take to implement it? The first step every organization should take is to have in their team an expert or expert who are responsible for making sure their organization is following cybersecurity rules and regulations. This team should have members who know how to protect the organization's computer networks, data, and make sure everyone is following the rules. They should find and fix problems with cybersecurity and make sure everyone in the organization is doing what they are supposed to do to keep things safe. Number two. Organizations should look at all the technology they use, like the hardware, the software, the network, and figure out which ones are the most important for doing business. This helps them see where there might be weaknesses or places where someone could hack into their systems. By understanding this information, they can take steps to make sure their critical business capabilities are protected and secure. Number three. Organizations should create and keep secure systems that use things like strong passwords, encryption, firewalls, and regular updates to make sure they are protected from hackers. These steps help protect your organization's digital information from being stolen or damaged. Number four, if your organization handles payment data, it's important to protect it. To do this, you need to regularly check for any weak spots in the systems that store the payment data. This is called a vulnerability scan. You should also use encryption to make sure the payment data is hard to read or steal, which provides extra protection. By doing these things, you can help keep data safe from hackers who might try to steal it. Number five, organizations should make sure they follow the rules and regulations that apply to them in whatever city or country they exist in. For example, in Nigeria, we have the Nigerian Data Protection Regulation, NDPR. The EU has the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR. Cities like California have the California Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA. And there is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, in the USA. To follow these rules, you must have internal policies and procedures that match the rules, so everyone knows what they need to do to stay compliant. By following the rules, you can avoid getting into trouble with the government, regulatory bodies, or other organizations. Number six, organizations should train all their employees on how to keep sensitive data away from hackers. This involves providing training to employees and stakeholders about how important it is to protect data and how to do it properly. This training should cover topics like how to create strong passwords, how to recognize email scams, and how to avoid social engineering tactics that can trick people into giving away sensitive information. By providing this training, everyone in the organization will know how to protect sensitive data and reduce the risk of data breaches. Number seven, all organizations should regularly review compliance practices. 
to make sure they are up to date and effective. This involves conducting regular assessments and reviews of the organization's systems and processes to see if there are any problems or weaknesses that could be exploited by hackers. You should also conduct vulnerability scans and penetration testing regularly to identify any potential weak spots in your cybersecurity defenses. By doing these things, you can make sure that your cybersecurity practices are effective and your organization is protected from potential threats. So those are the seven steps organizations can take to implement cybersecurity compliance. In conclusion, cybersecurity compliance is crucial for organizations to protect sensitive data from cyber threats. I am Cybermo and I'm a founding member of Forward Edge Consulting, a firm that consults for organizations on cybersecurity among other things. We can help your organization achieve cybersecurity compliance by providing services tailored towards this need. Our experts will assess your organization's compliance needs, develop a comprehensive strategy, implement solutions, and provide ongoing support and monitoring. Our goal is to provide you with peace of mind, knowing that your organization is cyber security compliant. So if you're ready to take the next step in securing your organization's IT infrastructure, you'll see a link in the description in this video. You can click on it and take the steps to book an appointment with us to discuss your needs. Thanks for watching and stay safe online.